Hi, today I'm gonna take you for a walk through the Uber app. I will be recording my screen and sharing my observations from a slightly unique perspective. I'm sure you already know everything about this app in action, but have you noticed the crucial elements of Uber? That's right. Welcome back to Idea Usher and let's see why certain things work the way they do. Uber mainly provides taxi service across the world and it is known for its aggressive expansion strategy because on the side it also offers Uber Feet, Uber Transit, Uber Eats, Uber for Business and Uber Driver. But today we will be talking about Uber for Taxi and we'll break it down to the details you might have missed. So let's begin. The first thing here is the easy sign up stage. Select country, sign up with your number or any of these options after which a split second window is taking you to the screen with a skeleton that is telling you what to expect and the reveal. This was kind of an engaging buffering. Let me take you back to the skeleton. Isn't it giving you a feel that things are loading faster even when it's not? It's way better than plain old spinner or a loading bar. This screen is slowly revealing itself and every second there is always something new to look at. And when the data is ready, the gradient goes from left to right. But it's a little weird that skeleton is not exactly the skeleton of this part. It's different. So skeleton was basically wasting your time. It's not even close to actual layout. But it's interesting that it's acceptable. Well now here we have two tabs on top that say rights and delivery. Delivery could have meant anything, but the icon next to it conveys that it's Uber Eats. Same for the taxi icon next to right. It's important to acknowledge the use of icons here, which is to convey things smartly. Uh, they could have opted for text entirely, but uh, it would have required extra space. So icon here is saving the space and stating the purpose with minimal effort. Moving on to the main panel. For user convenience, there is a grey search bar without any outline, which is diverting the attention toward the grey text that says enter pickup point. And when you tap on it, you get a text box where you can enter your destination, pick up and drop both. And moving back. So uh, furthermore, we notice that there is a highlighted drop down inside the search bar with the time icon uh, that is implying scheduling activity in case you want to schedule your ride a little later. Well, you can easily select your uh, date and time using the picker here and finalize your decision using a big and bold black button on the bottom that says set pickup time. So far things are very much convenient and when you get back on the main screen, uh, we see a banner asking to share my location, the green banner. Since Uber depends on the exact location, it's a crucial requirement for the app and the use of banner here is a screaming for it. Once you share your location, you might see the nearest available ride option. So overall, um, this feature is here for uh, like the search bar and the banner. Quick action for user convenience of booking the ride. Next we see is the suggestions. If you want more than just a ride, here are tiles suggesting you different services like travel, two wheels, package delivery, food, etc. Moving back to the home page, there we see a grey skeleton section for a split second and then the original screen. It's weird because our brain registers that and then it is forced to see something entirely different. Moving forward, there is another banner on the scroller which is a Kena CTA ready to offer solutions to the frequent queries. And on the bottom, there are four tabs dedicated to a home page which is highlighted because it's active. Services where you can spot uh, other offered services that we have already seen on the suggestions up there. Activity that will keep the tab of my daily and past tools and the account tab where I can manage my account and other settings, check available promotions, my wallet, Uber support, etc. This app is providing easy navigations and smooth user experience with a clean interface. Now um, let's request a right to check more details in this app. Uh, here we get the drop down menu on top to switch the rider which is a convenient option and then we can enter the pickup and drop location. So um, the first thing I see is the map with those location and the route in between highlighted in black. Uh, you can expand the map, navigate and zoom in 
and another thing is to note is the wait time uh, here we have one minute wait time in case my ride will be uber x which is the default selection um i can like uh, literally uh, scroll down to pick another options among the vehicle categorized based on recommendations popularity economy premium etc you can also check the number of people allowed for that vehicle right next to the name and additional details underneath like extra leg room pet allowance profes professional driver is it i mean who will drive the other cars kidding um anyway uh, you can check the prices of the rides next to the name and the timing here represent the wait time for that particular ride so um, this is the better option for the user engagement i mean it will keep user in loop so uh, once we select the vehicle we get option to select the mode of payment and a big bold uh, black button to confirm the selection and a small gray button with an icon to schedule the ride also uh, take a look at how the lines uh, to the destination get drawn and redrawn to show you that it's actively finding the best path for you um, once you select the car and everything the map uh, zooms out a little bit you just see the selection you have made the map is bigger now and shows you the cars that are going to get there at your location uh, you can also pin uh, for the pickup spot as sometimes the map shows you estimated gps location or you can either walk to the pickup spot which is usually the closest address to where you're at or you can simply move the pickup pin to your current location in most cases it's going to work it's done this way because the gps in your phone is not that accurate so sometimes it's best to just place the pin at an address that our uh, that the driver can get to but i'm going to select the option from the scroller here and confirm the pickup and that starts the payment procedure uh, where i can add the payment mode which is my uh, in my case it will be the cash so obviously now we'll proceed to the next step which is to confirm the fare so now when payment is complete notice how it zooms in on your destination first and then goes back into your own location where you are right now along the route that you're going to be traveling this is designed to keep you engaged because you're waiting for the driver to respond to your query so instead of being just a boring loading screen it shows you the path that you'll be traveling while it's searching for the driver notice how it says when the drop off will be on the bottom in the blue even though it didn't find the driver yet and only one of those three lines is being uh, filled showing you like the progress is almost there like it's just the last final step even though it could have been just one long process part this is making you feel like uh, it's happening faster than it is and when there is no driver for a while the map zooms out and shows you a couple of different car and usually these are not real they are just designed to make you feel like the uh, driver is somewhere nearby and we are going to pick you up or pick one for you right away and because it took minute to get all that it zooms out the map again to show you that maybe a car from different spot is going to pick you up and it updated the time to be 1 minute later but then we have a uh, you know sound and pop up that shows that the driver is on his way and it's clear that it's going to take him 4 minute to get to your position and because 4 minute is quite a long time to be staring at your screen and doing nothing this little animation of the car slowly moving towards you make it feels like you're actually seeing your driver approach you but of course um this is all the estimated because showing a real time precise position would actually be pretty complex and draining on the servers well uh, the map still zooms in and out a little bit so there is always a constant movement so you don't get bored while you are waiting and also it feels like it's happening faster because of that and when the driver is closer the distance is updating a lot faster to give the sense of urgency that yes it's happening he's coming he's going to be here very very soon which keeps you at ease because uh, yes you're waiting for a taxi so you want it to be there as quickly as possible and there you have it at first glance it looks very simple very basic request form but then you dig a little bit deeper and you realize that there is lot more here than meets the eye overall i can say that uber is a customer centric app and with this smooth user experience no wonder it is the customer's favorite and number one in the market but what if i say that you can outshine uber now that you know all the unique pluses of uber you can definitely plan something to shadow it so if you want to have an app similar to uber contact idea asher and get your first consultancy absolutely free our team of experienced professional will help you make the best decision based on your requirements for more information check out our website in the description below and stay tuned to idea asher